Free Talk Live, take control of the airwaves and do it toll free here at 855 450 free. 10 things, or not 10 things, 30 things. We're through 10 of them almost. 30 things to stop doing to yourself. We can resume that list here in a little bit. Also, talking about the police and talk radio racist code. Brett will give us some examples of what he means by that here in a moment. And I was talking earlier about the Free State Project being a, a real shift for me as far as how I viewed the police. And I view them now as uh, as human beings instead of this sort of amorphous mass of uh, evil people. I think that they're doing they're human beings who are doing some sometimes the wrong thing to other human beings, and and I don't have a problem telling them that. Uh, you talked about uh, Brett shaming earlier mm-hmm. that you know nobody's going to change their mind if they're if they're feeling shamed. Um, but at the same time, I'm not just going to let Jason Short from Keen Police walk out of uh, fat stuff. Uh, and tell him thanks. You know, I'm going exactly. to tell sure. Jason Short, who is a, a local Keene police officer. Fat stuff is the local head shop that was recently raided by the DEA. I told Jason that with the help is, of Keene police, with the help of Keene police, they guarded the door basically. And uh, and I told him, look, this is a sad day for Keene police, and uh, I don't appreciate what you're doing here today. And I had a I had a conversation with him. If you watch the video that I made, it's a 17 minute long video. I took four hours of this DEA raid and you know edited it down to 17 wow. minutes. Yeah. And um, at the very end, I put in the conversation I had with Jason Short because the tone that I took with the DEA was much louder and much more get out of our town kind of tone. We sure. don't want you around here. This is not cool. We Stop don't like doing your tap this. around here. Stop stealing from people. Stop ruining people's lives. So that was kind of the tact I took with the DEA. But that they're not neighbors. There are people from Boston who, you know, strapped on with guns and came and robbed a store. Jason Short and the other Keene police officers are, they're our neighbors. These are the people who, you know, it's not the same situation with them versus the DEA. So I treat Jason differently than I treat the DEA in the rest of the video. I let Jason know on a, you know, with a kinder tone in my voice that I don't appreciate what it is he's doing. And I don't think that's wrong of me to do because I feel like feedback is important for these guys. And if all anybody ever does is say, Atta boy, you guys are great. Thanks for saving the community. Uh, and just constantly pats them on the back, puts their Facebook pictures as police badges or thin yep. blue lines and things yep. like that, then all they ever get is that positive reinforcement from people. Well, I think that it's okay to give people uh, some feedback, some critical feedback on how they're performing. It absolutely is. And when they get that, or even when they get a little bit of resistance, I think they have to take that memory to their next encounter. If all a police officer ever encounters is obedience, complete Mm -hmm. fear in obedience, it can be very emboldening. Sure, they'll just keep taking more more steps. Absolutely. So that, that pushback, like... I've never really been in a position where I could just disappear into a jail for 15 days. Mm -hmm. It's just never been uh, my lifestyle. And, you know, even though I've looked at some of the things that people have done, and we've had this conversation before, uh, me, you, Derek, uh, I've had it with Adam Kokesh on my show. uh, I don't get what you're doing, right? But I'm glad there's people who have the courage and the willingness to do these things. You know, better better have some people do it than not do it. And I'm realizing there's much more of a division of labor in trying to forward the ideas of liberty. So I used to often quietly say, that's stupid, you know, and I don't say that anymore. <laughs> I don't I don't say that anymore. I still say it's stupid in my mind. <laughs> However, it's uh, stupid for me. I might say that would be stupid if I was doing what, it. the DEA thing or something. Just stupid generally, there? you know, like the outside the system activism. Um, Civil disobedience. You know, like disagree with it, whatever, whatever it is. Is holding the police accountable considered outside the system? Activism? Yeah. Yeah. Why? I mean, like it's just I, well, I is anything not in, is something outside the system so long as it's not um, basically begging a politician. Is that what you're def- begging definition a politician of, or being because, a politician? Because, as you know, holding a video camera and asking the police questions, it seems fully within the system to me. It's not. I've I've seen you doing it for a decade now, and it hasn't done a damn thing. Uh, depends on how you look at things, well, Mark. There are a lot of people who moved to New Hampshire yep, as a result of the that. activism that we do. So it has done something. That. Thank you. That's the that's the thing that it has done. And um, you, I mean, you know, he said he didn't. You know, what does he think? And this is what I think. I think that you've got different goals than what I have. I want to, you know, see this, uh, see New Hampshire become more liberty oriented, and yeah, attracting people is part of that, but. 
I, I don't want to do it with outside the system activism because I got to live here. So you just stand by as the police raid a person's home, destroy a person's They're business. raiding people's homes already all so over the country. So that makes it okay. So now that they've it's done not it elsewhere, okay. it's okay to them, for them to do it to your neighbors? I'm not going to stand by and stay quiet like a good little citizen as somebody's business is being destroyed, someone who's peaceful, who interacts with other people on a peaceful basis, who, by the way, the owner of that store sent me a message on Facebook Saying thank thanking you. me up and down uh, for what I did that day. Sure did. Absolutely true. And it wasn't just me. It was other activists who were out there, plus locals who were out there as well, to express how they were concerned for this business owner. And thank goodness people in Keene are willing to stand up for themselves and willing to stand up for others and speak out against this. It's it's people like you, Mark, who stand by the side and you say nothing and you just look on and you think things. You think this is a terrible thing, but you won't speak out about it. Well, You're the ones who are the problem. But he's Nonsense. putting – that's – I don't agree with you there. He's putting his neck out more than 99.9% of people just by being here tonight it's not good enough brett it's not good enough unless you <laughs> unless you put you know you stop doing your nationally syndicated radio program which is the largest platform of liberty and go out and fight a traffic ticket with the people of keen you haven't done enough like that's what it's all about i didn't say you Ian. haven't done enough no, yeah, yeah, that's what you. Did. It's people like you. It's people who don't do anything who stand no, along the side. Like, no, you said I am. Uh, you used me as the poster child yeah. for people who don't do enough, so, meaning that I did not just, freaking do enough. Just remember, if you own a business and the police are raiding you, Mark won't do I anything own a business. about it. I own a business. Mark will just stand by and he'll watch quietly. I think you're being more divisive than than you need to be here. He's like an a hole. That's I, I, why you. By the way, you are the reddest man I've seen right now. <laughs> <laughs> Very red. Um, but I, I mean, I think you know you should see each other as being on the same side here, considering that most people. It's not that most people are doing nothing. Most people don't even know there is a problem. It, re- it reminds me of like the Occupy movement, and they were saying we are the ninety nine percent. When statistically, in any way that matters, they were the one percent of. First of all, people who recognize that there is a problem, that's mm-hmm. almost nobody. And then the people who are willing to do anything about sure. it is almost nobody within that group. So you two are allies, and I think this comes back to division of labor. You have no kids. You are unmarried, Ian. You can probably afford to take more significant risks than Mark can. You know, you would agree, right? Sure, sure. No, so, I'm not. I don't want to make it sound like Mark isn't contributing anything. It's just that that attitude of his is what I'm saying is the problem. If more people were to not just stand quietly aside as the police run roughshod over innocent people's lives, then maybe the police would behave in a different manner. I don't think maybe if true. they were getting feedback from people more like what I was giving to them rather than people just quietly, meekly I don't think letting people, them get away with I don't think everybody's it. got the personality for it, Ian. The fact is, is that you've been doing this a long time. You've been uh, pretty successful at keeping yourself in check you know i i get, I get pretty angry you're saying you get violent you i can't could very control well. yourself right. i could very well no then that's I a good a, reason to do that a to, big to anger management that. issue man yeah. and it's a good point that's and, and i'm not sure that you're doing anything particularly good uh, honestly i mean i haven't seen the results the fruits of your labor well, other than some people saying it's great and some people saying it sucks if the metric is it brings people to keen then that's that's a result that requires further investigation as well, right? Because maybe of all the people out there who might feel similarly, maybe you have somebody like Derek J who's in Pennsylvania and says, I like what they're doing. Mm -hmm. They share my values. I'm a peaceful man. I'm going there to do that. But then you might have other people who say, I like what they're doing. They're annoying people in filming it. I like to annoy people. I'm going (laughs) to go there, right? So you're, you're casting a very big net. Right. So so the result itself of just getting people to come to New Hampshire. Yeah, you've had some great people come here. Right. But you've also had some people who weren't so great. Sure. You know, so so that's something that I think. So has Manchester, by the way. Oh, I'd like absolutely. To point that out. And they have not had the level of publicity around the activism that goes on there. So it's just an, uh, there have been some bad people that have gone to Manchester and yeah, some yeah. of that has become public. Yeah. I, we don't know how much of it hasn't become public. When the bad people come to Keene, they become more visible. And so it's more of a memorable thing when somebody like that. But I remember a couple of years ago, there was a Manchester activist who was outed at Porkfest for stealing from his roommates. And he left the movement. And you you look surprised. You hadn't heard about that. No. Uh, he left the movement uh, with shame 
and he took off after he was outed on stage by his roommates for being a thief. And then it was after that that other uh, former roommates of his started to come out and started to say they, they had also had incidents with this person. Of course, his roommates at the time had said, well, gosh, it would have been nice had you told us about this prior to us taking him on uh, as a tenant. By the way, that particular individual ended up moving to Texas, where he's now going to prison for uh, raping a teenager, apparently. Oh, my. Uh, drugging and raping. 855 450 free. And so, you know, lots of people are attracted to New Hampshire. Some, not so desirable. But I wouldn't say that one form of activism or another is the cause of that. There's more on the way here. You can take control. And we still have to get to the talk radio code. I haven't forgotten about yes, that. Yes, yes. We'll get back to that uh, or get to that here coming up in hour three, 855 free. This is Free Talk Live. <laughs> 